crazy freaking steer. <laughs> I don't know how the hell he fits between them bars, but he does. It's melting today. Where's your baby? Where's your baby, Mama? Hey, eh? where's your baby? Hey, eh? where's your baby? Where's your baby? Eh? Where's your baby? It's Sunday today. It's melting, but the wind is cold. You're not going to tell me where your baby is, are you? going after Shania down there. So the calf must be close by. He's telling Shania off. Let's see if she's hiding down here. She's not down there. was here earlier. Yeah. I was out here earlier and it was nursing. Mom, mom must be going to where the calf is. Shania walked this way and the mama took off down this way. I imagine the calf's down here someplace. Oh yeah, there it is down there. Right in front of Shania. I don't know if you guys can see him down see her down there. Just beyond just beyond, just beyond Shania down at the bottom of the hill. She's coming up towards mom now. I don't know if you guys can see her down there. She's just went behind those back plane trees. Yeah, that's why mom come down here because Shania was working the way this way looking for the calf. See the calf right there beside mom there now. Just in front of her. Calf's nursing right now. Let's see if I can zoom in. I wonder why it goes blurry when I zoom in. Sorry about that, guys. It went blurry when I tried to zoom in. Yeah, you can. You should be able to see her there, because I can see her in the screen. 
the calf right next to it. Mother nursing off mom. I can't zoom in, it goes blurry. See? As soon as I zoom in, it goes blurry right away. Well, you guys, I want you to make sure you subscribe and put the notifications on because starting this summer, there's going to be lots of activity around here. Uh, be machines coming in to do pads for cow shelters and new hydro service out front, new shop pad out front. This mobile home is going to get tore down and a, and a pad put in for a 32 by 40 slab with in-floor heating for a new house this summer. So I got to pack everything up into there and putting everything into storage in that sea, sea can that I got and living in a fifth wheel trailer um, there'll be a lot of equipment in and out of here gravel trucks cement trucks gonna be fixing that um, pond dam out back and hydro is supposed to be cutting the trees for the new transmission line right away right behind me uh, sometime in October or November of this year but they can't cut any trees on my property until all the cow shelters are built and I'm all set up and then it's scheduled for complete uh, fencing around the back end to keep the snowmobiles and ATVs off the off my e off the easement that still that'll still belong to me still but there'll be lots of construction going on for the next two summers um, maybe three summers even um, around here so I'll have all kinds of rental equipment and uh, some contractors and uh, I'm still looking for carpenters to build the cow shelters and a utility building out front out there for the hydro and the new well new well pressure tank and water softener out front new septic field um, Lots of things going to be happening, so make sure you subscribe and you put the notifications on because there'll be lots going on here. Like I see, when I was out here earlier, I watched Mom nurse the calf up on top of the hill here, and then she took her on, took the calf on a stroll down this hill, and then she disappeared. And I was getting cold standing here with the wind pretty cold it was like 8 30 in the morning and I mom took her on a stroll down here down the hill so I went in the house so I guess the calf just laid down there and mom went back up the hill to eat <laughs> but she knew where her calf was so So that's the uh, update on the uh, construction that's going to be going on. Um, yeah, I'll get a new house. Uh, we'll be building a new house this summer. And a uh, new shop pad out front. New hydro service, new well, new septic field. A um, whole bunch of stuff. A lot of stuff I can't even talk about at the moment. Um, That'll be happening. But, um, yeah, that's, uh, lots of commotion going to be going on. 
I got the equipment lined up for rental. Excavators, compactors, bulldozers. Because we're going to fix that pond dam in the back. Hopefully you guys were able to see the calf down there. I couldn't zoom in. I don't know. It goes blurry. I was doing that the other day too. I don't know why it's doing that. Never used to. But you know how these things go. Now well, I better better leave Cranky Mum alone. Never mind stressing her out. So if you want to see all that commotion going on, make sure you subscribe and put notifications on. There's going to be a whole lot going on starting this summer and for sure for the next two summers, maybe three. still up on top of that hay pile or that hay bale and that's the calf that was born four months ago <sighs> and that one there she was born like four months ago now What are you doing there, guy? Eh? What are you doing there? <laughs> He's fighting to get out of there. <laughs> Come on, get, get going. I don't know how he gets through the bars, but he does. Okay, that's just a quick update on the newborn calf and a little bit of information on what's going to be happening. Um, so I'll leave it at that because I'm cold. That wind is really cold, even though it's melting up, but this wind is really, really cold. It's like plus one out. And it's going to go down to, I think, minus 13 tonight. And then it's supposed to be 3 tomorrow on Monday. And then go down to minus 12. And then the next few days after that, it's going to be back down into the minus 16, minus 18 at night. So, we'll keep you informed. Keep an eye out. Ciao.